Hey everybody, welcome into Wager Talk TV. I'm Tony Mejia from SportsMemo.com, previewing the bronze medal matchup for men's basketball at the Olympics in Paris, France, where two disappointed teams will have to brush off that disappointment and try to win a medal, because that's the goal now for both Germany and Serbia. Germany was an upset loser to host France, and right after that, it was Serbia uh, losing a 17-point lead to the United States in one of the most exciting games you'll ever see on the international stage. Uh, so for Serbia, which lost 95 to 91, it's going to be how they handle the hangover from dropping that contest. They didn't trail in the entire game against the mighty USA uh, until very late in that contest. And we saw Kevin Durant make some big shots, a steal from Stephen Curry with a driving layup, uh, big free throws from Curry late. And uh, the Serbians were not able to make big shots on the stretch, despite the fact that they really thrived on the offensive end all afternoon or evening in Paris, afternoon here in the United States, where we were all watching on pins and needles. And certainly uh, the Serbians shot the ball as well as could be expected, better, in fact. And Nikola Jokic had a great game, uh, but just was not able to do enough. Uh, ditto for uh, Bogdan Bogdanovic. But we'll see now how they handle this game. And we're going to have multiple ways to bet this contest between Germany and Serbia. Germany really struggled on the offensive side of the ball. They finished 10 for 34 from three-point range in losing to France, despite getting off to a very strong start. Won the first quarter, lost the last three, and ended up uh, dropping the contest. Franz Wagner of the Orlando Magic, really great player uh, and a, a blossoming star, had a rough second half for Germany, finished with just three points in that second half, ended up with 10 points, eight rebounds, and three assists on four of 10 shooting. His brother, Mo Wagner, who also plays for the Magic, came off the bench, wasn't as effective as he had been. Dennis Schroeder shot three for 11 from three-point range. He finished with 18 points, but just four assists. And in those games where he can't get other people involved, uh, Germany obviously struggles. Uh, they had uh, Isaac Bonga, who formerly played in the NBA a little bit, Nick Weiler-Babb from uh, Iowa State, and Mo Wagner coming off the bench uh, and not as effective as they have been both in the uh, FIBA World Cup that they won last summer and uh, through the early stages of this Olympic tournament that had been favored against host France and uh, uh, looking like the team that would give the United States the biggest test. Uh, as far as uh, Daniel Tice, he's on board. He had eight points, 11 rebounds, and six assists in the loss to France, uh, you know, dealing with Victor Wembanyama. Rudy Gobert didn't play much, but uh, he will be a factor here against Nikola Jokic. So Tyson Jokic in the middle. These teams played in the FIBA World Cup final in Manila last year, uh, right around August as well. But Germany uh, won that game on a late Dennis Schroeder layup in a 79-77 game. They ended up winning that game, I believe, 83-77. Uh, and the Germans uh, were champs with uh, beating a Serbian side that did not have Nikola Jokic, did not have Vasily Micic, uh, and will have those guys in play in this one. Serbia still was able to get the better of the bench battle despite not having Jokic or Micic. They won uh, points off the bench 46 to 15. The teams ended up tied at 32 in points in the paint, and the Germans won the edge on points off turnovers 19 to 12 while winning the rebounding battle. So with Jokic on board, I think Serbia has a better chance to uh, win this game against Germany and claim well, what would be their third medal uh, since you know, leaving the Yugoslavia and becoming a, uh, a unified country themselves. So Germany is looking for their first Olympic medal. Uh, it would be historic, obviously, under Gordy Herbert, who is coaching his final game for the German Olympic team in that FIBA World Cup championship, obviously, has him a national hero in that country. Their best finish, Germany, in the, the Olympics is seventh in 1992. So they've already accomplished a first here, but they want to finish third instead of fourth to obviously medal. I think the way to play this game is to back Germany in the first half, uh, and they're getting a point. So you back Germany plus the one that covers you with the hangover factor in case Serbia comes out lethargic 
and not to mention that Germany really well coached and uh, I think they have great chemistry uh, with Schroeder leading the way and, and the Wagner brothers and the way they play. Um, so I think that Germany comes off and leads at halftime and Serbia ultimately wears down Germany and wins this game. So you can either lay the two for the full game or just back the money line at minus 122, slightly more juice than laying the conventional 110. But I think it'd be worth it because you don't want to lay the two, have a Serbia steal a game by a point, and then you wind up with a losing ticket uh, because you didn't want to pay the extra 10, 12 cents, uh, depending on what you bet. So again, Serbia on the money line is our play here on the Wager Talk TV YouTube channel for this free play. You've got Jokic. Alexa Abramovic, who shot the ball well. Ogden, Ogden uh, Dobrich has been playing really well. Uh, they didn't even use Nikola Jovic from the Miami Heat as much as I expected them to against the United States. So they've got a lot of depth. Marco Guterich, uh, Micic will be in the mix. Philip Petrusev played at Gonzaga, had a really nice game against the U.S. as well. So I just I, I think that Serbia is slightly deeper than this German side. We'll ride with that and we'll ride Serbia. As far as the total, it's at 171, slight lean towards the under. I think this ends up being a uh, race to about 85. So at 171, uh, that's uh, you, you have the winner probably score more than that for that to uh, be eclipsed. So look for this to be a Serbian victory in the 82 to 78 range, something like that. We'll ride the under and we will we'll ride Serbia uh, as our top play on the money line, and we'll also sprinkle a little bit on Germany at halftime uh, getting one. So that's our play here on the Wager Talk TV YouTube channel. Make sure you smash that like button and are subscribed so you never miss a video. Keep an eye out on the preview of the United States and France, the gold medal matchup. This one's at 5 a.m. Eastern time, U.S. and France, 3.30 p.m. on NBC. Uh, so everybody will be tuned in to that. Uh, Follow me on Twitter at Mejia De Nero. I'm commenting in game on all these matchups as the Olympics wind down and obviously looking forward to football season uh, where I've started 2-0 in the exhibition year and uh, doing really well on MLB. We've got the WNBA coming back. So check out all of our package information on Friday. We've got half price packages throughout Sports Memo. So my $24 all access pass for NFL exhibition play, a 4% MLB play in addition to other uh, games on the diamond and a little Leagues Cup action in soccer uh, can be yours for just 12 bucks. So check me out at sm.buzz slash TDM for all the details on that. Uh, once again, uh, bronze medal game, Germany, Serbia. We're riding Serbia on the money line. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Tony Mejia. Have a wonderful weekend.